This is Foley, my newly maxed account, and after maxing, I have the desire to obtain some of the rarest items in the game, and I'm going to do it one boss at a time. Once I pick a boss, I'm stuck there until I receive one of the rarest items from that boss. For example, killing the King Black Dragon until I receive either the pet at a rate of 1 in 3,000 kills, or the Draconic Visage at a rate of 1 in 5,000 kills. Follow me on this journey as I take steps into some of the longest, or luckiest, grinds yet. Welcome to Spooned or Doomed. Hello. Um, before we get started, I just want to say thank you for all the support that I saw on the last video. It really did a good job and it pushed me to be able to become a partner of YouTube. So I actually now have channel memberships um, available for my channel starting at 99 cents a month. There are a couple different tiers that do cost a little bit more. So if you would like to support me financially, um, feel free to become a member down below. Um, I already have one channel member in Ultimate Gaming. Thank you very much. It means the most. Um, but that's all I wanted to say. But I hope you guys enjoy the video and thank you for watching. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Spooned or Doomed episode four. As you can see, I am wearing a Slayer helmet right now, which means this episode's going to be a little different. We are going on a Slayer trip. So. With that being said, I will not be camping one boss for this video because um, as we know how Slayer works, you get a random task and uh, I'm not going to be doing tutorial skipping to get one specific task because I like to build up my Slayer points so I can get all the Slayer helmet recolors in the future. But with that being said, uh, the goal of today's video is to get um, either a pet or the imbued heart, but I'm going to be implementing a point system for this video um, that will give us progress towards the end goal if we do not get a pet or the imbued heart so how it's going to work is every collection log slot that i get will be one point any collection log slot that i get that is over the drop rate of one in one thousand will be two points and if i get a collection log slot that is a jar then it will be five points if i get a pet from a boss or the imbued heart that will satisfy the video and it will be ended at that moment right there. So the goal of today's video is to either get a pet, the imbued heart, or reach 25 points uh, following the guidelines that I just set. For Slayer specifically, I wanted to be able to reward collection log slots because um, I won't be able to do a lot of Slayer for these videos considering uh, the format of the series. So I want to implement Slayer episodes every now and then just so um, it can give myself a little bit of variety um, and a break from camping just one boss at a time. But yeah, I hope the, uh, the rules that I set in place are simple enough to understand and uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing that I need to do before the Slayer grind is grab a bunch of gear. So you already know, buying the bandos, uh, tacits, and the chest plate, the British robe top and bottom. We got ourselves a torture, an occult necklace, the trident, Eldenus ward, um, void waker, bandos god sword, the dragon claws. Got some devout boots, and then we uh, stocked up on some expeditious and bracelets of slaughter. And that's just what we got for now. We might add a little bit more in the future. And the first task of the video is going to be cow fights. Let's go gear up for the cow fight queen. All right, and if we look here, uh, we just have the the cow fight queen head. We've gotten two of them, um, and the pickaxe and the dragon 2h sword we already got when we were going for the diaries i'm going to be going for as much uh combat achievements as i can uh so i got two more here looks like we need to kill cow fight queen with the vengeance spell and we also need to kill her with uh the varax flail as our only weapon and there we go killing the cow fight queen with the vengeance spell Man, Varox just looks so fucking cool. I love it. There we go. We got the kill using only the Varox Flail. Oh, there is a 200 cow fight queen kill count. I just caught a wild mud kip doing a cow fight task. I absolutely love his videos. If you haven't seen him, please check him out. I'll uh, link him in the description of the video. Okay. I didn't realize if you got um, that you'd still get the KQ head tattered if... Uh, you had already gotten ahead before the 256 kill count. Totally did not chance myself right there. <laughs> and there was 300 cow fight queen kills. Oh my god, Jared just got the pet crack and oh my god, oh my god. That's freaking awesome.
Oh. I I was fucking <laughs> I was fucking typing and I died. Oh my god. Okay, and since I got this greater demon's task, uh, Krill is a greater demon, so I am gonna go kill him. As you can see, I've only gotten one kill, uh, so that I could go to next, so I actually have no idea what I'm doing. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch a video and, uh, butt my head at this for a little bit. Alright, I just watched a guide, and, uh, hopefully I- I do this. Um, it's gonna be a 5-0 method, so I'm gonna be, like, dropping an item right there and red xing it. Um, I've never red x before, but, uh, we can sure try. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I just got some Bastion Potions, some Stamina, some Antidote, some Oh Shit Brews, Anglers Restores, uh, Blood Magic in my Tebow, and a Blowpipe to finish up the minions. Yeah, and a Ring of Endurance, uh, because you do run a lot during all this. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck. Okay, that first kill did not go well. <laughs> but I survived. Okay, I, uh, guess I can quickly go over the, uh, drops for Krill. Okay, so we got the pet, which is a drop rate of 1 in 5,000, which is uh, pretty damn rare. It's the same for all the God Wars dungeon bosses besides Nex. And then the Staff of the Dead and the Zamorak Hill are going to be dropped at a 1 in 508. And the Zamorakian Spear and the Steam Battle Staff are going to be dropped at a rate of 1 in 127. So if we go on rate, I should see a spear or a steam battle staff for this task but um i guess we'll see my ping is really bad right now oh my god please help please help please help stabilize 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 <laughs> I mean, I got the kill, but I'm still lagging. Shield left half? Oh my fucking god. Okay. Oh, we got a god sword shard 3 from from a minion. Okay. Well, um, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, I ran out of super restores, so this is gonna be the last kill of the trip. Uh, but I am comfortable with this now, so I can, uh... I didn't even use any of these Ceridome and Brews, and I still had a bunch of hard food left. So, uh, yeah, I can start replacing a lot of that with uh, with more super restores. That way, uh, I can stay for longer trips. But it looks like I got a 10 kill trip right there, and could have definitely gotten a lot more. All right. We are done with that trip. Uh, first trip of the morning, and uh, it's pretty damn good. We got 23 kills in one trip. Uh, I could probably do one more with the super restore, but I really don't want to risk it. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to TP out. All right. That is, uh, killing Krill without, uh, taking any of his melee hits in a private instance. Oh, that's 50 kill count. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I ran out of stamina and I fucking died. Ah. Uh... Oh, there we go. KC number 57. Give that to me. Samurakian Spear. Oh my god. We got a second one at 65. That is stupid. In the same trip. And there is the 20 kill in a private instance combat achievement, I believe. Alright, that was the uh, end of the trip. I ran out of anti-venom, so I'm gonna have to... Uh, start bringing in more anti-venom uh to this boss fight but it looks like i have maybe one more trip left but i mean two zamorakian spears in one trip that is uh that is pretty good like four mil each right 4.5 mil each so that's nine mil right there oh a god sword shard too that's uh, oh wait that's the last shard that i need for uh the collection log i think i've gotten a one and a three so that's pretty cool oh my god Back into the fucking Zamorak kill. The very next kill, we get a Zamorak kill. Oh my god, dude, this is actually stupid. <laughs> oh my god, dude, Hard's about to be pissed. <laughs> dude, Zammy fucking loves me. Oh my god. I didn't realize the Zamorak kill was 27 mil, too. Uh, well, we got uh, one more kill for the task, and then uh, we can go get a new one, see what we're up to. All right, and that is the end of the task. I'm going to. Uh, finish off these minions because we could get something from the minions you never know but uh yeah we'll go get a new task yeah so uh the uh bossing info plugin says that i made 43 mil in those 77 kills i did get handful of kills last night 
but I didn't get any unique. So all the uniques that I've gotten were from today, the three <laughs> spears, the hilt, and the god sword shard. 43 mil, Jesus Christ. You love to fucking see it. But uh, we are 95 kills now with Krill, and uh, we're just missing the battle staff, the staff of the dead, and the pet, of course. Oh, that was a missed battle staff from the fucking superior. God damn it. Could have been the heart. Could have been the heart. Oh, I think the I think the missed battle staff is uh, more common than the heart, but it's still a unique from a superior monster. 182 abyssal demons. I uh, haven't done sire in a long time, but uh, I guess let's go do it. All right. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Uh, we got to. We gotta start by uh, killing these vents, I believe, and then, yeah, we fight it. I, I think that's how it goes. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll find out. I gotta turn off auto-retaliate. Yeah, that's that's what's fucking me up. All right. All right, there we go. Kind of scuffed, but we didn't die. And, I mean, we were nowhere near close to dying, so uh, it's all good. But we got the kill. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I guess I should show the log um 35 kills um we have not gotten the abyssal head from here because obviously we have not gotten an unsired yet i got the abyssal head from abyssal demons and uh yeah so we're looking at a pretty uh empty log for abyssal sire so uh any unique is fine pretty much oh abyssal sire veteran i thought i got a i thought i got a collection log uh, i guess that is a uh, 50 kill count yep Oh my god, that was a max claw hit into a 69. Holy shit. I don't think I've ever done a max claw hit, but then again, I've never really had claws. <laughs> totally not me AFKing while killing the Abyssal Sire. Uh, they grow up too fast? Yeah, you can't let the Scions mature, so uh, yeah, you kind of got to deal with them with Blood Barrage, but uh, yeah, I've been working on this respiratory system one. It's I can get it down. I'm, I almost got it this last one, but uh... I think I was a tick or two off. You just got to get a little bit of RNG on these uh, mage hits. All right, and there is the last combat achievement, the Respiratory Runner. It's where you uh, destroy these uh, sis these respiratory systems in one stun. Just kind of got lucky with RNG on the magic hits, and uh, yeah, pretty simple. But I believe that is all of the combat achievements for Sire. Yes, it is. Would you look at that? 200 Abyssal Sire kill count and no unsired yet. Just did a demonic gorilla as a task and we are now at 297 kills. No Zenite Shard. Uh, we're just like three kills below the drop rate. So uh, encroaching dry grounds. But we get the back to back Black Demons task. Let's go get that Zenite Shard. Ask and you shall receive. Oh my god. 331 kills for it, so just a little over the drop rate, not too bad about it. Let's go finish the task. All right, looks like we're going to kill more krill. And that is a 50 krill kill count. Would you look at that? There is actually no way. I'm so spooned here. The staff of the dead, 16 mil. Holy crap. Like, look at this. I mean, I'm only missing the steam battle staff and the pet at this point. Like, that is absolutely ridiculous. And there is the demon whisperer task. Um, this is where you don't get hit by any of the bodyguards for a whole kill in a private instance. Uh, I did not do anything special. I just let RNG work itself out. There is actually no way that I've gotten every item besides the pet here in less than 200 kills. Oh my god. This is probably one of the most disgusting Creole logs in history. If I had the pet, this would be insane. All right, that is uh, that is the Greater Demon's task. I'm going to finish up this minion. And, uh, you know, you never know. You could get a drop off the minion, so we'll see. And then we'll, we'll grab a new task. All right, no drop. You would have never guessed it. Kill Creara. How many would I like to slay? I've never killed Creara. But I will try. I'll do 50. I'll do 50. Um... I did, I've done one kill for the, uh, for the key to do next. So, uh, well, apparently I've done three kills. Oh, wait, I did one kill, lost the key piece. I did another kill to get the key piece, and then I helped, uh, my buddy get a kill so he could get the key piece. So I've gotten three kills, um, and I guess we're gonna go get 50 more, and, uh, 
yeah we haven't gotten any drops obviously all right here is the setup i got some chins uh a dragon fire ward ring of suffering trying to get the best defense here's our protection item the armadillo boots we got dragon arrows just in case i kill one of the minions that i'm chinning um to finish off kriar with the twisted bow blow pipe to finish off the minions um blood scepter for blood magic when i need it and then i am going to be using these ecumenical keys that i've gotten from nex in the past and then of course our grapple and our crossbow to get to Criara um with some Sarah Brews and some super restores but yeah we got quite a bit of ecumenical key shards so uh we should be good for a while all right I have never done this shin method I just watched a video and I feel like I'm gonna mess up so uh okay that first kill did not really go well but um uh, we survived <laughs> at least oh <laughs> oh my god I just fucking died I'm pretty sure you lose all your chins too. So uh, yeah, I just lost all my chins. That's fucking awesome. Well, I got one kill. Maybe maybe I'll get it down. Swoop no more. I don't know what that combat task is, but we have swooped no more. It's probably five kill count. Oh wait, no, we have seven kill count. Oh, there's another God Sword Shard three. I uh, decided not to bring the chins and just do a Tebow and do like a little step under method. I'm actually enjoying it a lot more. And yeah, I feel like I'm not fucking it up really, so. I'm just gonna go with this method. I'm not sure if it's probably slower than Chins, but I'm fine with that as long as I get the kills. And here's your daily dose of Foley getting chanced. Oh, okay. That is uh, 50 kills at Criara. Well, it had to happen at some point. There's the Dark Bow. All right, we got a Smoke Devil's task. All right, and there is killing the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil with only special attacks. I just kept on looking under the uh, the boss until I was able to regen enough spec to just kill it. That is the task done. Yeah, we got 263 kills now. I did get a Smoke Battle Staff when I first killed this boss, but we are still searching for the Jar of Smoke and the pet, and we can get the Dragon Chain body here. Truly rare, but we can also get it in other places. 173 hellhounds okay we can go kill cerberus now let's see uh, 324 kill count and all we have is the pet so we're bound to get a collection lock at some point all right i bought the spectral shield because it helps uh with the prayer drain mechanic and i'm i've never done range method but i'm going to try it see how i like it we're bringing the tebow and max range and uh, the blowpipe for some healing along with some thralls Ooh, there we go. We finally get a drop at kill count 470, the Smoldering Stone. Task is done. Kill count is at 497, and all we got was that Smoldering Stone. Oh, we got the Ballista Limbs. Hell yeah, let's go. It ain't worth shit, but we take a collection log slot. Got a Dagonos task. We're still missing the Archer's Ring, the Circle, and the Mud Battle Staff, as well as the pets. Um, so maybe we can uh, fill out a couple of these collection logs. Oh, a Dragon X. That's the first unique of the grind. Oh, there's the Mud Battle Staff. Um, <laughs> was not expecting that, but we like to see it. Oh, B-Ring. All right, I ran out of uh, anti-poison, so I'm going to have to call this trip short. 85 kills in one trip, though. That's pretty good. And we did get three uniques, one being a collection log slot and the Mud Battle Staff. Hey, look, we got 50 million hit points XP. Pretty cool. Oh, there's the circle. There we fucking go. So I believe now we just need to get the archer's ring and then all the pets. And then, yeah, we'll have a uh, Dagonoff King screen locked. I, I say then we'll have it, but yeah, three pets is a lot because these drop at a one in 5,000, I believe. So yeah, they're pretty rare. Oh, another mud battle staff. <laughs> Man, uh, yeah, uh, Road to Ellie in my clan, he actually just got a, uh, Enhanced Crystal Weapon Seed, so that's pretty cool, but the, uh, the task is over now, um, I'm gonna grab this Dagonoth head, by the way, I, I do like collecting, uh, insold heads, I do not have much myself as I didn't really have a lot of money, and I'm saving up all, uh, my money for, uh, you know, the Inferno, but yeah, I do have a collection of like bones, ashes, uh, anything prayer related, really. I just kind of collect. So uh, if you want to donate any to me, just uh, feel free to add me in game right there. My private's always on. So uh, just message me if you want to give me some. I'd be happy to take them. 
we got 32 mithril dragons. I'm going to go for these. I, I, I like doing mithril dragons because you get the, the chance to get the chewed bones. And the chewed bones have a chance to get you the dragon full helm. And the dragon full helm is like 84 mil right now. So any opportunity I get to do that, I will happily do it. 20 million farming XP. Oh, we got, an, uh, we got an ancient page. Pretty damn cool, I guess. I, I, was, uh, I was looking at my phone. I didn't even notice it. I, I only know how long it's been on the ground. <laughs> but yeah, it is nice to get... Uh, like, I do enjoy the bossing uh, task. But um, it is nice to get these AFK tasks just to kind of... Um, let my mind roam a little bit before I get ready for the next big task, you know? It's pretty nice. <laughs> I look away. I'm, I'm looking at my phone and I look up and I just see myself getting dragon breath by a fucking... <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, that's kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is. Uh, ooh. One chewed bone. We like to see that. That is a chance at the at the dragon full helm. All right, task is done, but we have this one chewed bone that we can uh, go ahead and... How do I do this again? Do I just click construct? Okay, you just click construct. It's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> but we'll see if we get the dragon full helm. Probably not, but uh, we get a prayer mix. Okay. Oh, we get more mithril dragons. I will actually take that. 34 mithril dragons. Another ancient page. Okay, we take those. I didn't think about it till now, but I'm not going to be adding these ancient pages um, into like the collection log point system because uh, they are really common. So I don't think that would be fair. Yeah, it's cool to get the collection log, but I will not be uh, putting them towards the ultimate end goal. 17 black dragons. I guess we can go kill KBD. All right, and that is uh, killing the KBD in 10 times in a private instant. So I, I saw that I had that combat achievement. I believe that is all the combat achievements for KBD, so. Oh my God. <laughs> what? We actually got it. 17.9 mil experience. Oh, got the harem pet. Oh, oh my God. Oh, uh, I was just eating uh, lunch, taking a break from Sire and uh, catching some Kabam Bams. And well, it happened. Oh, that's freaking awesome. And uh, if we look, I have caught, I've caught 72,000 uh, Kabam Bams in the process of all this, but that is amazing. And I have the spirit flakes already to cause, uh, to do the cosmetic for it. So I can, uh, I can change it to this blue one, which I'm going to keep. But that is freaking amazing. Oh my God. That marks pet number 13, and if we look at the skilling pets, we need Baby Jinchampa, the Giant Squirrel, Tangle Root, and the Rocky Pet. So, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing AFK-wise. I might go back to woodcutting, but I'm not too sure yet. I think I'll still fish until I get a 100k stack of Kabam Bams. Oh my god, we finally got an unsired. It took way too long. 297 kills for one unsired. Almost three times the rate for it. Alright, anything but the Abyssal Head and the Abyssal Whip will be a new collection log slot. So uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and draw it. Ooh, we got the Abyssal Dagger. Okay, I'm not mad about that. What are these things worth? Like... Like three mil. Yeah, they're worth three mil, but yeah, it looks sick as hell. Oh man, I'm finally done with Sire. I've been here for fucking eight hours today. We got a cave crack and task. We're at 2,701 kills and all we are missing is the pet. We are encroaching drop rate. I just got my third jar of dirt. Damn. Well, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh shit. Well, it is what it is. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Don't... No! 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 Ow! No! Ew! 165 more Hellhounds. Maybe I will get a crystal this task. I don't care which one, I just want one. Um, last task we did get that smoldering stone though. But yeah, 497 kills, no crystals yet, so uh... Yeah, let's go get ourselves a crystal. Oh, I mean, yeah, we were already so close to it, but there's a uh, 500 kills, 502 to be exact. 
Ooh, there we go. Pegasian crystal. I mean, we wanted a crystal. It didn't matter which one, but we did get the cheapest one, but we we got it. 575 kills. We got our first crystal. We did it, boys. We're winning. Oh, that's the big boy right there. That's what we're talking about. We like to see that. Kill 589. My God. 29 mil for the primordial crystal. Oh, my. Oh, my gentle. All right, we still got 67 left, but we we just need the Jar of Souls now and the Eternal Crystal, which, uh, I mean, the Jar of Souls is pretty rare, so uh, I don't think we'll green log this for a while, but if we get lucky, we just might. Oh! We actually got the Jar. We actually got the Jar. Oh my god. I cannot believe I got the Jar of Souls. 619 kill count. Oh my god. I still can't believe I got that Jar of Souls. It's a 1 in 2,000 drop, and, uh, yeah, totally was not expecting it, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Who would have thought we'd have the pet and the jar before getting all three crystals? Ooh, smoldering stone, okay. We were definitely dry at Cerberus, but I, I think, I think we're, uh, probably a little spooned now. <laughs> but we were definitely dry of getting a drop, but, yeah. Feels good. Catch him back up to the drop rate. End of the task, 662 kills, still missing the Pagasian Crystal. 300 thermonuclear smoke devil kills. And there's the end of the task, we're at 411 kills, still no unique from here. Look at that, another chewed bone. Hey, a second chewed bone. And we get some bolts and a barbarian potion, okay. Oh, we finally got the dragon chain body. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever worn a dragon body, chain body either. Look at that, oh my god. It's about time, 340 kills for it, and uh, yeah, we just need the jar and the pet now, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna take a long while. Oh, dragon two-hand sword, okay. They're not worth much, but it is nice seeing like a unique drop. Would you look at that? 400 Calphite Queen kills. Ending the task off with 499 kills. That might irk some people that I'm not gonna just go ahead and get the 500th. But, um, yep, 499 kills. Yeah, the first kill. And we get a big Asian crystal. Okay. 701 kills. My Cerberus. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. That's what we're talking about. Give that to me. All right, and there is 800. Cerberus kill count. Jesus Christ, just give me the eternal crystal and we'll be out of here, you know? I mean, I wouldn't mind getting more primordial crystals, but an eternal crystal would be nice too. All right, I believe that is the task done. Yes, sir. 160 more hellhounds have been killed. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty good trip. I mean, we got two crystals, one being the primordial. So we did make some money this trip. I love to see that. Did yet another whole Kraken task and got nothing. We're at uh, 3,053 kills. So we are over the drop rate for the pet now. All right, I have not gotten a gargoyles task and uh, I'm kind of hoping for one because uh, I have never, I mean, I've done uh, grotesque guardians a little bit, but uh, I haven't really delved into it much, so I'm I'm really hoping for a gargoyles task soon. Well, uh, that's Necreal, which uh, I mean I'm not gonna deny Necreals. They're a uh, pretty good loot, and uh, also get a chance at them superiors. So all right, uh, so blood shards are at like an all-time high right now. I mean, look at this, 11 mil right now. I mean, like that's that's quite a bit of money. They were at 13 mil um, a couple of days ago, and uh, I've been looking for something new, like semi AFK to do. And uh, yeah, shards are something I can semi AFK while I like eat or something. So uh, I might as well uh, farm for some blood shards while I go for the thieving pet. I think that'd be a, a good little AFK thing that I can do on the side. So uh, we'll see if I get any blood shards out of this. Probably not. They're pretty rare. One in 5,000 when you're thieving them. So, but it never hurts to try while I go for this thieving pet. Okay, maybe, maybe I, I AFK'd a little too hard. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Would you look at that? We're at 900 Cerberus skill count now. Okay, well, that's the third Pegasian Crystal. Still no Eternal, but uh, it is what it is. All right, last kill, and we get a Rune Axe. Would you look at that? Another 153 down, 975 Cerberus skill count. So next time we get a task, we will definitely hit 1,000 kills. And we're almost on a 700 task streak, so I'm gonna have to go to Koenar here in, a, in another task.
And of course, the task Konor gives me is Hydras. Alright, well, let's go do some Alchemical Hydra. Alright, looks like I got 379 kills. I got the Hydra Leather and the Hydra Eye, so I'm missing everything else. Uh, pretty much anything would be uh, a pretty good drop to have. But the Hydra Claw is worth, like... 30 mil i think right now so that would be huge Ooh, got the flame skipper uh yeah that's where none of the flames pop out so that's pretty cool oh and we also got the the speed chaser time oh that that's pretty cool two and one okay uh 143 i think the grandmaster time is a 120 so uh yeah we're quite a bit of ways off that but yeah i'm not really going for it but if i get it i get it oh, i didn't realize it but uh we're past 400 kills now at the alchemical hydra and just like that, another 100 kills, 500 kill count at the Alchemical Hydra. I've been doing this whole task with the Masori Mask. I've not been doing any of this with the Slayer Helm. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, I guess if I, I might be able to get a new PB now, I guess. <laughs> All right, and that is the end of the task. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and I got a new personal best. We're one second off the GM time. So if I bring thralls, I could definitely do it, but I just didn't feel like bringing thralls because I wouldn't be able to high out a lot of stuff. But that is uh, also 700 task streak. We got 500 points for it. We're at 2,275 points now, but we're at 559 kills now, and we did not get any uniques from that. So uh, kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. All right, I got a lot of points now, and I feel like spinning a little bit, so I'm going to uh, actually color my Slayer helmet for the first time. We're going to get this Alchemical Hydra head one. And uh, yeah, that is a thousand points, but we can use the Alchemical Hydra head on it. And uh, yeah, we get a spiffy looking Slayer helmet now. Oh, there we go. I was totally not expecting that. It is not a collection log slot, but it is money, so... Uh, we love money. Oh, that's another heavy frame. That's not a collection log slot. We don't want to see that. What? But, uh, I mean, it is <laughs> two uh, drops in one inventory, so that's kind of crazy. Oh, we got the monkey tail. Oh, ho, ho, ho. actually one of the rarest drops. It's a, uh, a 1 in 1500, so definitely pretty rare. Can you believe it? We are now at 1,000 server skill count. There we go, smoldering stone number three, I believe. Yes, sir. Oh, there is a 1100 Cerberus kill count. Huh. Oh, there we go. We green logged it. We green logged it. Oh, 1108 kills. We green logged it. Oh, yes. I don't have to touch Serb ever again. Look at that. 1108 kills it took us. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all, considering, you know, I got the pet in the jar within that 1108. All right, well, I can officially uh, block Hellhounds now. So, I mean, I only have 60 love, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the Venator bow on Hellhounds and the Catacombs. And then uh, once I get to like one kill, I'm going to go ahead and block them. Oh my God, finally. I, I This is the first Gargoyles test that I've gotten this whole fucking video. I actually get to go do Grotesque Guardians. And as you can see, I have no collection log slots, so this will likely be the uh, the last task of the episode, considering we only need one more uh, collection log slot to uh, reach the goal. Oh, there's the speed chaser. We got a 134. Wow. Okay. Oh, there is a 50 kill count, I believe. Yes, 50 kill count for Grotesque Guardians. Ooh, okay, that is the uh, 10 kills in one trip, I believe. What are the odds of getting five crystal keys in one trip? It is... It is something, isn't it? Ooh. The granite hammer. Um, that's gonna be the last collection log slot we need for this video. What a spiffy looking weapon we have here. Um, I think I'm gonna still finish off this task. Still got 152 kills left. You never know. We may get something cool out of those kills. But, uh, actually, exactly 100 kills for, uh, for the granite hammer. That's, uh, that's kind of cool. But, yeah, I'm just gonna finish up this task and we'll, uh, wrap up the video what five kills later i get another one okay well that's pretty stupid and that is the perfect grotesque guardians task it is getting five perfect kills in a row in one trip i believe Ooh, i believe that is 20 kills in one trip the only uh combat task we need now is the uh one minute and 20 time but uh yeah it's really i i hear it's really tough to get so i'm not even gonna go for it oh we got a granite mall is that a collection log? No, it is not. Okay. Oh, well, we got one. Okay. We got one, boys. 
Oh my god. There is no way. There is no way I get the black terminal. Oh, what? Dude, this thing is rare as hell. Oh my god. That is crazy. That is so cool. At 188 kill count, like... So it's 2x, 1 in 1,000. So I guess essentially a 1 in 500. Oh, there's a 200 grotesque guardians kill count. We got the granite ring. I didn't even notice because it was a green. Well, we just need the granite gloves and then... After that, we're missing the pet and the jar, which are, you know, the jar is like a one in 5,000 from here, which is ridiculous. Oh, we got another granite ring. Okay, well, we got one more kill for the task. Surely we won't get anything on this last kill. All right, and there it is. We are done with the Grotesque Guardians task. 215 killed, and it took me like a, a whole day. It took me a whole day and, and then some, but, uh, yeah, we, we got we did get quite a bit of collection logs from here, uh, more than I expected. Um, got three collection logs and two dupes and 252 kills, so uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we're getting towards the end of the video, but uh, I guess it's just time to, uh, I guess, take a good old look at the loot tab and uh, go ahead and sell all that and see where we're at. All right, I have... Uh, I have not touched this loot tab at all uh since i started this video so this has all been in the making of the video besides like these redwood logs pretty much and maybe a couple of these uh planks but pretty much all of this is just from this video 97 mil from what it's saying and then this is the tab where i've been putting all the uh you like new collection log slot items that i've gotten in this video um which is totaling up to 177 mil so we're going to go ahead and sell all this off and uh, yeah, we'll see where we're at. After selling uh, the loot tab, we, we're keeping the redwood logs and a couple other things, but uh, we got 72 million. I need to repair this Varax armor and then sell it off. It's not really worth too much, so I ain't worried about it right now. But we can go ahead and go to this unique tab and sell all these bad boys. Uh, this is where a big portion of the money is going to come from. All right, and it looks like we ended up with 246 million um, after everything has sold, which is uh, pretty amazing. And in the bank right now, we have 38 million, but that is because I did spend a lot of money on gear. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all the gear that I bought and uh, we'll see what we're totaling up at after that. Everything just sold, and I have 1 billion GP. Uh, holy crap. Uh, yeah. I The only thing I kept was my range setup, and uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything that I've kept. And I still don't think I have enough money for the Inferno. Um, this imbued heart, if you're, well, saturated heart, if you're wondering, is not mine. It is my friend's who is letting me borrow it while he maxes his account. Um, I'm just going to go through the bank real quick and see if I don't have anything else to sell. And uh, yeah, I'll see if I'm able to afford this Inferno setup. All right, after looking, there is, there's not anything that's going to bring me to where I am able to afford um, all the Inferno gear setup. So uh, I guess uh, the Inferno will have to wait for one more episode. I'm getting so close to it. Yeah, it was a fun episode. I know uh, this episode was a little bit different than the former episodes. I want to implement these Slayer videos every now and then um, just to give myself a little bit of a refresher because uh, if you've ever camped a boss for weeks or even months at a time, you know that it can get pretty 
um, grueling um, sometimes. So being able to have that variety um, every now and then is uh, really good for my mental and it's just a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoy Slayer. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be looking at one more video and then we'll be uh, diving into the Inferno after that, which I'm very excited for. But a lot of collection logs gained in this video. Um, we're at 592 now, so we're getting really close to 600, which uh, that's that's a pretty cool milestone to hit. Got quite a bit of combat tasks completed too. Um, we have 95 more points until we reach the elite tier, and I'm excited for that because you do get um, a couple of things. Uh, the superior Slayer creatures are 25% more common. That's the uh, that's the big thing for me. I'm re I really want to get that unlocked. All right, and time for the little stats part of the video. Um, something that a couple people were wanting um, a little bit more stats. So um, I'm bringing a couple more stats with me this time. I forgot to do them in the last episode, but we're going to continue on with this episode. We gained almost 21 million experience, ending off with 466.4 million total xp which is uh pretty cool to see and out of that xp that we gained we uh gained a lot of it in our ranged xp 5.8 mil in ranged xp 3.8 mil in hit points xp 2.7 mil in strength xp 1.7 mil in magic xp and then we have 156k in prayer 163k in defense and 201k in attack xp so totaling all that up um just in combat xp that i gained in the video it was 14.6 million pretty much three-fourths of the xp that i gained throughout the video was combat xp and then uh I'm guessing a majority of the rest of the XP is going to be from Slayer. We did gain 2.8 million XP in Slayer, and I did do a little bit of thieving, but um, I did recently lose my job um, due to us closing down, so I haven't really had a lot of AFK time, so only 216,000 fishing XP, 2.7 mil farming XP from my daily tree runs that I am continually doing. I'm just not showing it on cam unless I get the pet. And we also got 289,000 fishing XP. Um, we did pretty much stop fishing um, after I did get the pet, but um, I am, I'm still fishing here and there because I do want to get a 100k stack of the Kabam Bams. But that is really it for the total XP. Um, almost 3 mil Slayer XP. I'm I'm happy about that. And now we can go to the boss in KC. I'm going to start off with the superiors. Um, we really didn't get that many superiors because I was hunting after the Slayer bosses specifically. So um, there wasn't a lot of superiors to be had. But we did get two Dust Devil superiors, three Neck Reels, four Blood Velds, one Abyssal Demon, and one Dark Beast. Totaling up to 11 superiors. So not that great of a chance to get a superior monster unique but moving on from the superiors um we have a cow fight queen in which i did 368 kill count in this video and got the dragon chain body next up we have krill at 169 kc very nice and we got the zamorakian spear the zamorak hilt the god sword shard 2 the Staff of the Dead, and the Steam Battle Staff. And after that, we have the Abyssal Sire at 341 kill count, getting the Unsired and the Abyssal Dagger. Up next is the Demonic Gorillas at 701 kill count, getting a Zenite Shard, Ballista Limbs, and the Monkey Tail. Criara at 50 kill count and no Uniques. Then there is the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil at 280 kill count, in which we did not receive a unique. And the boss that I kill the most in this video is Cerberus at 784 kill count, which is no surprise because Duradel hands out Hellhound's task like candy on Halloween. But in that 784 KC, I was able to get the Smoldering Stone, the Pagasian Crystal, the Primordial Crystal, the Jar of Souls, which was totally coming out of left field, did not expect that, and the Internal Crystal to green log it because I already had the pet. We are so spooned there, um, and I don't have to go back there ever again. And then we have 159 kill count at the Dagonoff Kings, getting the Mud Battle Staff and the Seer Coal. 49 kill count at the KBD, getting no collection log slot. 507 kill count at the Kraken, getting no collection log slot. But we did get a, a, a dupe jar. So that is that is something to think about. And then we went to the Alchemical Hydra for 180 kill count and did not receive a thing either. And we ended off at Grotesque Guardians getting 215 kill count, getting us the Granite Hammer, the Black Tourmaline Core, and the Granite Ring. Alongside getting the Dark Bow from the Dark Beast, we have 
got in 27 points and new collection log items and the monkey tail being the only one that was worth two points with a drop rate of over one in 1000 and then the jar of souls giving us five points with a drop rate of one in 2000 so at the end of the day i am pretty happy that i did get a really rare drop in the jar of souls um that is kind of the highlight of the video that and the black tumor link core um I think those are the big highlights of the video being the rarest drops um, and the coolest drops, I'd say. Plus, at the end of the day, I did end off with a new pet in the heroine, um, the fishing pet. So uh, at least I uh, stuck to a goal and got a pet. Uh, j just just not a uh, just not a boss pet, but that is that is quite all right with me. Other than that, I don't think I have any other stats for you. Um, kind of a mouthful right there. But yeah, I think that's all the stats I got for you. But I think I'm going to end the video off here. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I recently uh, just got partnered with YouTube, so I do have channel membership active. So if you would like to support me through that, um, the lowest tier is going to be 99 cents. And there are a couple other tiers you can opt into. But uh, any and all support would be appreciated, although not required. And shout out to my one channel member that i have right now um ultimate gaming i really do appreciate you it means the most but my name is foley and i will see you guys on the next one